How's it going YouTube? It is a bit of a shaky Saturday here in the great state of misery and I got something interesting to bellyache about today. I was just finishing up a shower break here um, at a Loves in Missouri, aka Misery. And um, as I was walking out, I decided to look through the uh, toiletry section to see if anything I needed to restock on was at a decent price. What blew my mind is when I saw uh, the uh, the Duke Cannon shampoo, the two-in-one thick hair uh, shampoo. $17 for a basic bottle of shampoo at a truck stop. I was like, are you out of your mind? Who in the world is setting these prices and why are they still employed? Like this person needs to be immediately fired. And because these prices just defy anything resembling the idea of logical. Shampoo is not a scarcity product. Not even at truck stops. It sure as heck isn't scarce at Walmart where you can get a similar product or the same product for literally one third the cost. Or more accurately, one third the price blew my mind. $17 for a bottle of shampoo. You want me to pay 17 bucks for a shampoo? You better be a vat of shampoo. Or it better have a guarantee that a horde of very, very amorously inclined women are going to come charging over the nearest hill, all anxious for a go with me. And all of them are pretty, not just random girls from God knows. We're talking the pretty scene girls from 2003 with the bare midriffs, the hip hugger underwear, you name it. $17 for shampoo. To quote the late great gentleman from the Miller High Life commercials, y'all must be crazy. <laughs> oh, that guy was the best. It's an old school commercial. I'm talking like, you know, late, uh, late aughts football beer commercials. Man, those were some good times. At least if you were not a Bears fan, but that's a different time. Story for a different time. $17 for shampoo. And yet, these kind of out-of-control prices exist not just at Love's. They exist at all truck stop chains and brands. Like, for whatever reason, they feel it's okay to mark these products up by anywhere from 33 to 300%. It's stupidity to the highest degree. They assume that because we're a captive audience, essentially, because we can only be guaranteed parking at these truck stops, they can gouge these prices up out like, beyond the realm of absurdity and way into the realm of um, ludicrosity or whatever the proper term is. It's absolute lunacy to have these kind of prices associated with basic toiletries. And Duke Cannon is not a product that's like this amazing gangbuster shampoo that's worth 17 bucks a bottle. Guarantee you, it's just as good as anything you can find at Walmart. And only slightly classier than like the 17 in 1 Suave product. $17 for I swear, these trucks have to get it together with some of their pricing as well as some of their product offerings. Because most of the stuff they sell, they sell in these stores, I don't even think it moves. They put it on clearance and it still sits there for eons. Oh well. Maybe one day these folks will grow a brainstem and actually set some reasonable common sense prices. But to be quite honest, I'm not holding my breath because somehow, some way, in some boardroom or conference room or dreary office somewhere, some wannabe bureaucrat desk weenie thinks that these insane prices are a good idea. From me to you, Jack, they're not, and you suck. I hope you get fired. With that being said, YouTube, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.